So I've tried to film this outside a couple of times now and the wind is just too strong so you're not going to be able to hear me say anything at all. That's but not a bad thing. Uh, probably not a bad thing, yeah, Sarah says. <laughs> After camping nearby last night, um, we have officially made it to John O'Groats. Um, we've officially We're driven the all the way from Land's End to John O'Groats. We're currently, we've just driven Yay! around to... Duncan's Behead Lighthouse, which is a place that we came to last time we were here in the in the RV, in the motorhome, and um, it is just absolutely beautiful outside. I'm just going to go out and do some montage shots. I can't get my drone out this morning because the wind is way too strong. I definitely lose that in the ocean. Don't want to repeat that from last year. We slept nearby last night, and it was so windy. Yeah, it was. Um, it was a really windy night last night, but it was really weird because it was super windy all night to the point where the caravan almost like was blowing over. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, at like 5 a.m., it just suddenly, like as if someone turned a switch and it went off, and it was like still silent until about an hour ago or so when it kicked up again. But it's a lovely day outside. It's not raining or anything. It's like sunny in and out. It's just a bit windy, but the girls are just about finished with all of the homeschool this morning. It's just coming to afternoon and we're about to start the day and go exploring around here. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm just going to show you what I mean. Woo! Nearly took the door off. <laughs> um, I don't know if you'll hear it on, on the camera or not, but it's really, really windy right now, but it's absolutely beautiful. We've got a prime little parking spot here right now and um, it's busy but it's I mean it's just beautiful so 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 pretty and you can see John O'Groves just just down the coastline down there we're going to dip around there in a bit and have a look at that properly soon what were you doing put my head on there put your head on there yeah was you being a monkey jumping on the bed and mama said don't do that and you didn't listen no my monkey's jumping on the bed <laughs> Or the doctor said. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we've just had a bit of an accident. Jason Esme were being monkeys, jumping on the bed, and he bumped his head for real. Oh, so the cut is not actually a deep cut, it's just it's not really bled at all. It's just obviously a big lump around it. So we did have a little ice, well we had a, an ice pop on there just to try and keep some swelling down but then he decided he needed to eat the ice pop so <laughs> he sat up and ate the ice pop and now you ice. feeling sorry for yourself? Yeah. What did you do? I bumped my head. You bumped your head. On there. On there? Yeah. Were you jumping on the bed like a monkey? Yeah. Oh, is it better now? No. Are you Still happy there. or sad? Are you happy? No, there. Are you happy? No, there. Are you sad? <clears throat> yeah. See, I'm sad. Me too. JJ, come on. Why don't you call me mad? Babe! JJ! JJ! Coco Melon Book makes everything okay. Another time, just because we love it so much. And Sarah can't walk at all at the minute. We need to be able to do some hikes. Yeah. Do like a mini little walk. Yeah, I can't walk. walk. I just get out of breath. So. Oh, oh, right there. Just like, oh, no, no. <laughs> just walked over the top of the of the cliff to the back of the lighthouse. Oh, sweetheart. Are you emotional today now? 
Anyway, we just walked over the top of the cliff at Duncansby Head Lighthouse and it is extremely beautiful I know. everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I wish it wasn't windy today because my drone would be amazing right now. But that is that is really really beautiful. Oh, you're too late to the joke. Sorry, guys. Get up, get up. Pile on. Pile on, Jace. I'm ready. Watch. I will. And then, then the end front. I'll go on the front, okay. Watch. I will. Not going. Not going. Having fun. Home. We're not going home. Go back. <laughs> Woo. I'm back in. You're so precious. Mummy won't fit down that slide. Mummy's too big. Yeah. <laughs> not meant to agree, Jace. Mummy be snake. I don't know if the wind is any less here, it's probably not. No! But me and the girls are just, and Jace are playing on the park. Chris and Isabel have gone to one of the little huts to get something to eat because they're hungry. Us guys are not hungry, so I think we're just going to get an ice cream or something. Leave your coat on, sweetheart, it's cold. Good boy. Uh, but what I was saying before is that, funnily enough, last night Chris was watching our. When he was editing the vlogs, he was getting, I think, He's memories, dead. like flashbacks from when we came last year. And he said, I can't believe what an amazing trip we had last year. You need to watch these vlogs. So we sat for about an hour. What's wrong? Isla hurt her leg, I had to make sure she was okay. But yeah, we spent about an hour watching the last trip and it just makes me realise how much we actually did on that trip and how different this one is. And we knew this trip would be different because of how pregnant I am and just just not being able to do quite as much but it did kind of make me a little bit sad like oh my I really missed the last trip that we did and obviously this one's not been the NC 500 this one's been more about driving the full length of the country which I'm glad we've managed to do but it's 100% inspired us to I'm, and I'm not saying we're buying a van babe when you watch this back and edit it so don't be getting all giddy and be like she's coming round because I'm not I don't want to buy a van I'll hire one <laughs> I do want to go back in an RV and do like the full NC 500 again and do all the things that we didn't get a chance to do last time because we hired it for three weeks last time which is enough to do loads on the North Coast 500 but just 
probably want to do everything so just not have like a time limit and be able to do everything all over again because oh guys I can't even tell you how much of a magical place Scotland is like we're so fortunate that we've been able to travel in the way that we have over the last few years and we've visited some amazing places I don't know what it is about Scotland but it just it puts a fire in me like a love and like a I don't know and I know it's Chris's best holiday he's ever had in his whole entire life when we come up to Scotland so I love how outdoors he is and how oh, I don't know I can't really explain it but I just love it here so much and I'm absolutely so excited when this baby's born to go on another massive NC500 adventure with her as well be crazy but it'll be fun <laughs> so we just went and got ice creams oh my gosh they are massive we this always happens we always want one scoop but we can never choose on one flavor so we always end up getting two scoops so that we can choose two flavors and then they end up being absolutely giant I got two salt caramel and mint chocolate Mine. that's right Mama and salted caramel Chase, what flavor did you get the ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Isabel got chocolate chip. Mm. Don't spill it, be careful. It's mint chocolate bit. chip. Ah, oh, is that the same thing? I thought chocolate chip was like... Yeah, mint with chocolate chip. Look. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> mint yeah, ice cream. chocolate chips, I was like... Oh, sorry, right. mint chocolate chip. Jace has got bueno and raspberry ripple, mainly because I really wanted to try the raspberry ripple. <laughs> anyway, they're very good ice creams. There's a lot of sloppy sounds going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> So 30 minutes down the road from John O'Groats along the NT500 route and we've just got to Donut Head, the very most northerly tip of mainland Great Britain. Feels good to be here, we've never been here before. In fact, the last time we came to John O'Groats, I said we were at like the tippy top of the UK, of the United Kingdom, but everyone was like, no you're not! Well, not everyone, but a couple of people were like, you're not, that's not the and very... You were, and you were right, we were not. Yeah, well, we were at the most north-easterly. Yes. Yeah. North-easterly tip, but now... We're at the very top. We're at the tippy top. The very, very top. <laughs> Let me tell you, them roads coming up here were, we're fine. Hairy. We're hairy, but hairy. they were fine. Single track, hairy roads, but the caravan was all good. It was fine. No problem at all. you guys we were just saying up at the car park that it's a shame you're not allowed to stay there overnight because we don't actually have anywhere booked or organized to stay tonight and it was such a nice like parking space with a great view but it is a council car park so you're not allowed to park in those overnight <laughs> on the way up there we kept seeing these little what would you call like coves like coves off the road like grassy coves but unfortunately every single one of them were taken on our drive up by either an RV or a van lifer or a car and, a, and things like that so we're a bit gutted but we just left and we said let's go and see if we can find anywhere to stay tonight oh my gosh one of them has come free I don't know the girls need to get out and run to some energy off one of them has come free and this might actually be my favourite parking spot of this whole trip. Like, look how perfect this is. It's so nice here. We'll be able to have a little fire pit and everything. In fact, someone has had a fire pit here. Proper juicy. It's proper juicy. We've got someone over the way, over the other side of the road, just over there. Um, but aside from that, this whole space is ours. It's so nice. Like if you can see, the, there's a car like there. That's that's another one. But they're like these cut out spots with like little track to come down. And that's one where we came down on that side. Depends which side of the road, I guess. Make a funny face. You're coming out from. Make a funny face. But um, yeah, so Make cool. Your eyes don't melt your nose. You Make a funny face. <laughs>
<laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Yay! Go. Brum 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 brum. Me can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Esme is loving life right now, getting out some of her birthday toys she's not yet managed to play with. What are you doing today, Esme? Oh. So it's like this marble pouring set. Marble pouring set. I feel like it'd be really cool. So yeah. It's got like two canvases, I think. There's like these things that you can go and make, like, make like some marble. That look really cool. Yeah, like a tie dye thing. Jace is still fighting and having a bit of a <laughs> argument with his bug. What's wrong? You took it in there. Oh, you were stuck. Look at his little head, guys. What? I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh, you're a clever boy. <laughs> no, you are. No. Oh, bye bye. Jace, don't. I shouldn't laugh. Don't give him attention. Just leave him. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Jace, we don't throw our bikes. That's not good. <laughs> so the first one was kind of a little bit of a fail. <laughs> but Esme has moved on to rocks. So she's just done one on a rock and I think it's pretty epic. Are you ready to go down? Probably should have made a little bit more gold, but... I think it looks great. You have to move right down. I can't really tip it because then it'll run. Because it's really runny, but... Are you gonna? Uh, I'm going to keep it go. forever. I think that looks pretty awesome. I probably should have washed the rock first. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> <laughs> so I could keep it. It's it looks fine. good. Yep, I really That's a really like good it. one. On your forehead. <laughs> Wait, I was just playing a game with him where I shut the door and then started laughing like this. <laughs> just fake. And then he said, Open the door. And then, calm! <laughs> calm! Be calm, Isla. Calm! I shut the door. Oh, look, he's blowing because it's. I shut the door. <laughs> Dragon! <sighs> look at that bruise on his head. That's not actually a bruise. Show me your hands. Show me your camping hands. Go like this. Turn them to me. High five. Turn them black hands High to five, me. Mama. <laughs> you made a mess. <laughs> I'm not oh, calm. It doesn't matter. We get washed, won't we? I'm not calm. <laughs> Tell her. Calm. Calm. <laughs> Oh, shut. You're so cute. Shut the door. And you're comfy. <laughs> and you're comfy. <laughs> I'm not calm. This is so funny. I'm not calm. Say so don't, so don't wake me up anymore. Don't wake me up. <laughs> this has probably been one of my favourite evenings of this trip. I feel like I'm saying that quite a lot. But it's been so, so nice, and this is exactly what we like in trips like this. Just the simplicity of being outdoors and just all being together and no devices. And oh, I've just noticed you've just been in and got your phone. <laughs> Isabel yeah, has... I've just grabbed it. I'm just... She has just grabbed it, but she's read a whole book. She's only got like I've got three like chapters left. Yeah, I've not got a lot. No, not got a lot. Are you cold? Yeah, we're going in now. <laughs> so it, it has just, even though it was cold before, like it wasn't like really cold with the fire and everything and four jumpers. No, but 
it is that the temperature's definitely dropped now. So we are going to go inside and get nice and warm. We've put the Chris has put the heating on in the caravan. And he's just gone in now to wash up some plates from dinner. We just had a really nice dinner around the campfire, which is another thing I really wanted to do on this trip, but we've not managed to do because everywhere's had like bugs or there's been some reason as to why we couldn't do it. But there's no midges here at all. And it's just been really nice. So we decided to have dinner out here. Um, Chris has just gone in. He's gone to put the kettle on. We're going to go inside and snuggle down. And <laughs> James keeps blowing. <laughs> Go inside, have a cup of tea and wind down for the evening. I feel like we've vlogged loads today, but most of it's been montage. I'm not sure exactly how much talking we've done, but that's that. I'm not sure what the plan is as of tomorrow. We've kind of had a loose plan for most of this trip. Tomorrow, we've got no idea. We don't know if we're staying here and we don't know if we're moving on. We do have another place we want to visit before we go home, but... Obviously that now we're right at the very top of the country the rest of this trip is going to be going back down and making our way back home I'm 36 weeks pregnant tomorrow guys. I've got 28 days until due date So it's time to start making our way back home We've got some amazing vlogs coming when we do get back home We've got a nursery that we're going to be decorating Jace's bedroom Isla's bedroom and then Isabel and Esme's probably been a bit optimistic thinking we can do all that before She's here but we'll definitely get Isla's and Jace's done. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this vlog and give it a big thumbs up if you did. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Mwah.